Good morning, good morning, good morning. I missed you yesterday, sorry. Um, really, really was excited about yesterday. We had the opportunity to launch our TV program for hair loss and hair thinning for men, women, and children sponsored by Wigs for Kids. I'll tell you a lot more about that. In fact, if you wanna watch a couple of the episodes, you can go right on this page and click whether you're a professional salon owner uh, or a stylist, or if you're a consumer, or you're just interested for friends that have hair loss. But we are so excited about it. It's just, just a dream come true. So thank you for your prayers. But that's how I opened up this morning's live broadcast. It's about inspiring you. And I have a kind of a takeoff of what we shared about uh, on Saturday and Sunday. Seeing is believing. And you know, it's so powerful to know that statement but not in the natural. Okay, seeing is believing. How many times have you watched a magic trick of a magician and wow, in front of your eyes, something disappears? Well, seeing wasn't believing, but you were believing what you thought you were seeing. And that may sound like a riddle, but the truth of it is, in the spiritual realm, seeing is believing and is manifesting the very things that you see in your spiritual mind. Let me share with you what that means because this will affect you emphatically more than you can ever imagine. I've talked to you about it a lot. I've shared with you a lot of, and I've even challenged you about meditating on what you are desiring and seeing yourself different. And I just read a book for the 15th to 20th time called Cyber Cybernetics. It's incredible. It was written by a plastic surgeon who discovered that within yourself, there's a mirror. It may have been broken by things people said, people uh, have uh, perceived of you, you have perceived yourself of them thinking about you, or words that have hurt you and harshly gone through your, your heart, or real experiences and circumstances that have really disrupted and created a broken mirror inside of you about who you are, where you're going, and your future and maybe taking your future hopes and crushing them. That's the broken mirror inside of us that we live and look at every day in our mental level of understanding, our knowledge, our sense. But there's another mirror that I wanna teach you about. A mirror within you that is so powerful when you look into it, that you can look into the future and see that which you truly desire. Meditation is where you begin to look into that mirror, that meditation, that inner prayer, that inner understanding that no matter what the circumstances are happening around you, no matter what's happened in your past, no matter what is in front of you standing like a giant, like in front of David, nothing can stop you from achieving the goals, the plans, the future that God has planned for you in that mirror as you meditate on that mirror. I want you to understand this is not a a new age teaching. It's not a uh, way out there situation of positive mental attitude. It's none of those things. It's the way and mechanism that God created the inner mind Not this one. This is just the operating system that is ruled by either the old broken mirror or the new mirror you choose to look at. So here's my challenge to you. And I'm going to probably be sharing this for at least this week because I think it's so important of an inspiration because it can transform your life. It can change what has been, what has stood in front of you, what has stopped you, what has hurt you, what has disappointed you. Oh, you know, the list goes on, but you know what? The mirror is now changing, and the change begins within you. And as you begin to look into the mirror of your future, of your hope, and you begin to see your future and see your hope as you desire it, as it was meant to be, it will not take your effort to get there. It'll take your legs. It'll take your your disciplines. It'll take all the things you need to do to get there, but it will manifest itself in such a powerful way that it will be called miraculous. It's, It's supernatural. And the answer to that is, you're right. It is. Because the only way to get past your past is to look in that mirror 
and get into the real future that God has designed for you. Jeremiah 29, verse 11 through 14. It says that God has a plan for you, not to harm you, not to hurt you, not to punish you and all those other things that are ugly, but to give you a future with hope, to prosper you, to bless you, to give you long life, and to give you a purpose, a purpose that will drive you and give you the why to live every day to the fullest. So today, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Just take five minutes. Close your eyes. And look into the mirror of your hopes, of your desires, of your wants that you want to see in the future. Look into the future with no limitations, no hindrances, nothing held back from yesterday, nothing entrapping you. You're free to look in that mirror and see your real future. It's time to begin to live forward. As my friend Michael Hyatt says, in his new book, Living Forward, live forward. Don't let anything hinder or hold you back. But it takes you to look and meditate. As Joshua 1 says, meditate on this day and night because it's impossible for you. It's impossible for you to get there. But what's impossible for you is possible with God working through you to get you and to bring to you and to open doors that no effort and no man can open for you and can't close once he's opened. So this is a beautiful day to begin your future. Today, seeing is believing, but seeing in the right mirror is how you see and believe and experience the future you were designed, built, and born for. So enjoy this day. Michael and Joe and Kristen and, and all of you today that are on, on the line, have a beautiful day. Live forward. Live forward. It is today that is the new part of your life. Today is the beginning of the rest of your future life, the life you're supposed to live. Have a beautiful day. Give me your comments. Join me on my blogs, uh, professional or, or consumer. Tell me what you think of the TV program. I'm really excited about you knowing uh, it's out there for you and maybe friends that may need it. Please keep it in your prayers. We're real excited about the things that will come, the things that will change and get better and better because I see it in the future. Have a beautiful day.